Hello my dear students. I am Aditya Chakraborty. Today I am going to discuss about air compressor. So now the first slide is the introduction. A compressor is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume. So what is compressor? It is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume and it also increases the velocity and increases also the density of the gases an air compressor is a specific type of gas compressor compressors are similar to pump both increase the pressure on a fluid and both can transport the fluid through a pipe so compressor is like a pump or similar to a pump both are increase the pressure of fluid and both can transport the fluid through a outlet pipe as gases are compressible the compressor also reduces the volume of gas so by the use of compressor we can compress the oil as well as or oil or fluid or as well as compress the gas but it is more easy to compress a gas rather than a fluid liquids are relatively incompressible what i have already told that it is much more easier to compress a gas than a liquid while some can be compressed the main action of a pump is to pressurize and transport the liquid so for uh, transporting a pressurized fluid or oil we are using pump instead of compressor now the definition of a compressor an air compressor is a pneumatic device that converts an into potential energy stored in pressurized air so air compressor is a pneumatic device pneumatic device means where the gaseous and the air medium is used that converts power into potential energy or that means when it is released through the outlet valve or exhaust valve then there is a velocity is produced or it is uh, extract in a huge velocity so it's convert power into potential energy and in a compressor the electric motor diesel or gasoline engine are used to operate the compressor so this is the definition of a air compressor now the classification the four most common type of air compressor you will see here these are rotary screw compressor reciprocating air compressor axial compressor and centrifugal compressor so in our syllabus the three type of compressor are number 1 the rotary screw compressor number 2 the reciprocating compressor air compressor and the third one is the centrifugal compressor the first one is the rotary screw compressor a screw compressor comprises of two screw like rotating element a casing an air filter rubber seals suction valve and delivery valve mainly a picture can help you to visualize the parts and their assembly more better so in a rotary screw compressor there are mainly two screw are used which are driven by the shaft and the shaft is driven by the gear train and there is a uh, outer cover this is known as casing and air filter is provided in the compressor 
and the suction valve is used to suck the air from the atmospheric uh, from the atmosphere and this air filter filtered the moisture in the air so now we have to see the image of the rotary screw compressor Here you can see the image of or cross sectional image of a rotary screw compressor. Here these two are the timing gears and this is a shaft which is known as the driving shaft and this is another shaft which is known as the driven shaft. These are the cooling jackets. These cooling jackets are used to cool or uh, to provide the isothermal process in the rotary screw compressor and the cool water is used in cooling jackets and this is the anti friction and roller bearing anti friction roller bearing which is used to reduce the friction and these two rotors are asymmetric and here this is the timing gear which is in rotating condition and which rotate by the help of electric motor and this is the driving shaft so this driving shaft will rotate and it helps to rotate the driven shaft this two shaft are asymmetrical rotor and when the driving shaft is rotating then the driven shaft is also rotating in the other side and the by the help of the suction uh, valve the air is intake in the the gap between these two screw so when these two screw are rotating in reverse direction there is a compressed air is produced and the gap between these two uh, screw is decreased at the outlet valve and it is increased in the inlet valve or the suction valve so this is the constructional view of rotary screw compressor now the working principle of rotary screw compressor in a screw compressor one of the shaft is driving shaft another shaft is the driven shaft the driving shaft is connected to the driven shaft via timing gears which helps to match the speed both the shaft the driving shaft is powered by an electric motor generally the two shaft are enclosed in an air tight casing so this is the uh, air tight casing this is the air tight casing where these two shaft driving shaft and driven shaft are in a close proximity first the suction valve is opened to allow the air suction then the motor is turned on which drives the shaft the driven shaft does also start rotating counter to the driving shaft because of di uh, timing gear the air enter the gap between the two screw cut over the shaft as the two screw turns in opposite direction the air gets trapped in the groove between the two screw and the gap between the two screw decreases gradually from the suction and to the delivery end that means the area between the two screw is more in the suction end and it is less in the outlet end or delivery end when the compressed air reaches the delivery end it passes through the delivery valve to the storage tank and this compressed air is stored in the storage tank and by the uh, Uh, by using the valve in the storage tank we can used the compressed uh, air in a certain pressure and there is a pressure valve 
or pressure gauge is provided in the storage tank and by this pressure gauge we can measure the pressure of the compressed air also uh, during the compression process cold water is continuously run around the casing which exchanges the heat with the hot compressed air and the reason behind this this is a isothermal process and by the help of isothermal process the efficiency of the system can be increased instead of adiabatic process so this is the working principle now the next type of compressor is the single stage reciprocating compressor here you can see the image of a single stage reciprocating uh, compressor this is the suction chamber this is the discharge chamber or the outlet chamber this is the reed and this is the cylinder where the piston is moved okay so now the working principle of the reciprocating compressor in single stage reciprocating air compressor the entire compression is carried out in a single cylinder the opening of and closing of a simple check valve depends upon the difference in pressure if mechanically operated valves are used for suction and discharge then their function is controlled by the cams the weight of the air in the cylinder will be zero when the piston is at the top end and at the, this position you have to neglect the clearance volume so here you can see the image of the single stage reciprocating compressor so when the air has come uh, to the piston and is pressurized the piston and the air is uh, intake from the suction chamber or suction valve by the using of suction valve and after uh, the comp uh, compression of the uh, piston valve it will move in the upper direction and it compress the air and then the compressed air is fed uh, through the air storage uh, drum or air storage chamber by the help of the outlet valve or exhaust valve so now when the piston starts moving downwards the pressure inside the cylinder falls below atmospheric pressure and the suction valve or inlet valve opens so when the piston start moving downwards what will happen the pressure inside the cylinder falls so the atmospheric air comes uh, through the suction valve or inlet valve and the air is drawn into the cylinder through a suction filter element to reduce the moisture in the air this operation is known as suction stroke this is the first stroke and when the piston moves upward compress the air in the cylinder and inlet valve closes the pressure reaches atmospheric pressure and when the pressure of the air is increased further compression follows as the piston moves towards the top its stroke until when the pressure in the cylinder exceeds that in the receiver that means when the pressure of the air is increased then it is supplied to the receiver and this compression stroke of the compressor this is the compression stroke of the compressor that means at first the piston moves downwards and after that it moves upward and when it moves upward it compresses the air and this is the compression stroke and after the suction first first one is the suction stroke when the air has comes uh, from the inlet valve and after that this is the compression uh, stroke after the compression stroke a discharge or delivery through the receiver or to the uh, through the open valve or exhaust valve 
so there are two stroke one is uh, suction stroke and another is compression stroke so one single stage is uh, is taking account in case of single stage reciprocating compressor now the last one and very important one is the centrifugal compressor so centrifugal centrifugal compressor is mainly uh, used with an electrical motor here you can see the centrifugal compressor this is the impeller or which is rotating to create the centrifugal force and it is rotating by the help of the electric motor and gear so when the air is entering to the impeller by the help of the suction valve and it is rotating by the help of the electric motor so when the air enters in that position in the impeller then there is a centrifugal force or centrifugal motion in the air and and there is a kinetic energy is uh, kinetic energy of air is produced and after that through the diffuser it is discharged to the outlet valve and after that it is stored in a storage tank so here the centrifugal motion of the impeller is uh, used to compress the air so you can see here this is the suction pipe or inlet pipe this is the flow of air and here the centrifugal force is produced and after that it is discharged through the discharge pipe so now the working principle of centrifugal compressor air is drawn into the center of the rotating impeller with radial blades and pushed towards the center by centrifugal force so at first the air is intake to the radial blades which are rotating by the help of motor and gear and it is pushed towards the center of the centrifugal force this radial movement of air result in a pressure rise and the generation of kinetic energy due to this radial blade or radial uh, blade pressure there is a kinetic energy is produced before the air is laid into the center of the impeller the kinetic energy is also converted into pressure by passing through a diffuser and volute this diffuser is used to produce the kinetic energy and it increases the kinetic energy and by the volute it is supplied to the uh, outlet valve each stage takes up a part of the overall pressure rise of the compressor unit depending on the pressure required for the application a number of stages can be arranged in a series to achieve a higher pressure so there is a series phases are occurred that means at first the intake of the air in the impeller uh, radial uh, blades after that this air is in the center of the impeller and there is a kinetic energy is produced and after that this kinetic energy is converted into potential energy by the help of the diffuser and it uh, it's flowing uh, through the outlet valve or the discharge valve or discharge pipe so there is a uh, multi stage operation or uh, uh, multi stage uh, series operation is arranged uh, to achieve the high pressure 
This type of multi-stage application is often used in oil and gas industry. Alternatively, it, uh, it is also uh, used in wastewater treatment plants. In low pressure single stage application are used to achieve the desired pressure ratio. And in modern configuration, uh, the centrifugal air compressor ultra high speed electrical motors are used to drive the impellers instead of gear. That means when there is a high speed electric motor is coupled with the impeller, there is no need of the gearbox for increasing the speed of the impeller. So, if there is a uh, no use of uh, gearbox, then there is no such oil lubrication system is required. So, it, the maintenance cost of this type of compressor is low due to absence of oil, thus making it oil free and appropriate for application that requires 100% oil free air. So, this is the centrifugal compressor. That's all for today. Thank you.